Hey guys, it's Ruben here from the e-commerce counter. Today, I want to go through some important changes that have recently uh, uh, come about as of the 1st of January 2021. And this is in relation to the UK VAT changes, the VAT changes that have recently happened uh, in relation to the Brexit changes. So if you, uh, who is this for? Anyone that's basically selling uh, products, services into the UK that um, are less than uh, 135 pounds. So um, prior to this, um, there were so there, there, were, there weren't many considerations into into lodging uh, that uh, I guess activity statements or reporting. But um, if you are selling to the UK, uh, it would be worthwhile listening to this training. Now in today's learning, I'm going to go through the changes to uh, the UK VAT for business uh, businesses selling to the UK. Um, who was impacted and step steps for online sellers. Just uh, change this. Alrighty. Okay, so changes to the UK VAT system or VAT reporting for online businesses. So as of the 1st of January 2021, there are new rules and regulations that have been put into place. Um, prior to this, you, uh, UK VAT wasn't collected at the point of sale. Um, and the, there weren't too many issues around the, the, the VAT system, but now UK VAT is now collected at the point of sale for goods that are sold under 135 pounds. So what does that mean? So basically, if you are, uh, if you have a Shopify store selling into the UK under 135 pounds, um, you need to be adding a certain amount of tax or, or VAT to the actual sale, and then reporting and paying that tax to uh, the taxation office in the UK itself. Um, prior to this as well, there was a low value consignment relief, meaning that anything under £15, you didn't actually have to pay any VAT on or VAT on, now that has changed. All merchants that are selling into the UK are now required to register for VAT. So very, very important. These changes have um, come into play and um, make sure that you are um, speaking to your accountant or following the, follow, uh, following the next steps that I'll put in here. Now, who is, impact, who is impacted? All sellers that are basically sell, selling into the UK, whether you're an online retailer, you have your own Shopify store with your own goods, whether you're drop shipping, whatever it may be, you are going to be impacted. Now, if you're a marketplace seller, Etsy, eBay, Amazon, you are also going to be affected, and any international business selling directly to the UK, let's say you're doing some wholesale um, to some wholesale um, customers and so forth, you will also be affected. Now here are the quick steps for online sellers. Number one, speak with your accountant. So your accountant, um, if they have a good grasp around e-commerce, they will be uh, looking into this already for you. However, if you are selling to uh, the UK, um, it's imperative that you speak to your accountant because what will, may happen is that you'll find that you're selling, um, sending products to the UK and customers might just stop your product from being sent out because they can flag whether it's coming from the same supplier or, or retailer and um, they know the quantities coming through. Obviously, if it's just for personal use, um, they, there won't be any that on there, but if it is for a business, they can flag it and stop your goods from going directly to the customer. So then you, what you need to do is register for a UK VAT number. So you can do this on an online registration on their website, or you can you can engage an accountant in the UK to assist with you, uh, assist you with this. Um, if you do need recommendations, we do work closely with some e-commerce accountants in the UK as well. You need to apply for an economic operator registration and ID. Now, what this will allow you to do is basically trade between the UK um, and also EU. So it's very, very important. It's, it's, it's um, a specific number to move goods between the UK and non-EU countries as well. Um, so very, very important. And again, the accountant can explain this to you. Um, super important. Again, know your commodity codes. In order to charge the correct VAT amount or rate, make sure your product descriptions are detailed and relate to a recognized commodity code. So similar to the GST codes, um, VAT works differently. Um, uh, sorry, VAT has um, a similar sort of uh, aspect to it where there's a certain percentage, however, certain goods and services are charged at a different VAT rate, so you've got to speak to the accountant again. Um, the correct VAT charge will, will have to be indicated on your invoice at the time of sale, so in your Shopify account, you need to update your VAT rates. 
always, 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 whether or not you're doing the, uh, the changes with the UK VAT or not, is to have is, is to practice good record keeping, keeping a record of all your goods you sell and ensure that the correct information to apply the correct VAT treatment. Otherwise, you could be overpaying, underpaying, and causing yourself issues down the track. Um, always remember um, that you know zero uh, QuickBooks Online, having a good integration with your Shopify store, it helps a lot. Then, last but not least, selling through a marketplace, whether you're selling on Etsy, Amazon, um, eBay, um, just remember that they will be, um, they should be holding that on your behalf and paying it directly, being a marketplace. So you may not have to um, do some of the steps above, but I still encourage you to speak with your account. If you have any questions, please let us know. You can send us an email, shoot us through a message, um, and we're more than happy to help.